since we come out of the room. That's it. Okay, communion today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I like Cam's message last week. He was talking about no other name. No other name. Yeah? All knees shall bow Amen. to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In Jeremiah, it talks about, in, I think it's Jeremiah 30, it talks about how he will make a new covenant. A new covenant. And at that time, the old one was still established. The old one was still in place. And the sacrifices in the temple and everything like that. But Jesus came along and changed all that. He changed it radically from the old way of getting saved to the new way of getting saved. And that was the new covenant turned up. And that, and like three, you know, like Jesus died on the cross. And he um, rose again on the third day. Amen. And so there was a dramatic change in salvation in no other name. Like Cam was saying the other day. Yeah? Salvation comes in no other name Amen. except the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I want to turn to um, Ephesians. Then we go to Ephesians 2 8, the famous verse. <laughs> we go there first. Okay, John. Ephesians. Ephesians. I've got the LT, whatever it is. Isn't it? <laughs> Usually got the King James, but anyway, that's all right. Okay. I'll read. It's got small print. <laughs> God saved you. Hey, what's that? Uh, Ephesians 2 8. Okay. It says, God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you cannot take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for your good things we have done. No, uh, no, uh, so none of us can boast about it. Amen. Amen. No man can boast about it. Amen. Salvation. Yeah, it comes at the cross and it's free. Amen. It's a free gift. Yes. Like the old way, back in the Old Testament, you had to work. You had to do things. Like I was talking about crossing the Jordan and sanctifying. Mm. But now that sanctification has changed. Mm. Now it's a gift given to you. Yes. Freely. You know what I mean? It's given to you freely. Yes. Salvation is given to us freely. We don't have to earn salvation. We just, it's just given to us. It's a free gift. Amen. Amen. And so we see this transition that's taken place you know, in the world where the new covenant, there's a new covenant. You know? And as Christians, we believe in this new covenant. And it's a free covenant. It's a free gift of grace and mercy given to us at the cross. Amen. And it's all about Jesus Christ and how he gives us that free life, you know, that how we become new creations in Him, how we become, you know, believers in Christ Jesus. You know what I mean? This is the gospel. The gospel is there's no other name, no other name. Every knee shall bow at that name one day in judgment. You know what I mean? And there's no other name that man can be saved. You, know, you can't be saved being a Jehovah's Witness. You can't be saved being a Mormon. And a lot of other religions out there present themselves that like you can get saved through works. But God says, no, it's grace and it's a gift. It's free Amen. at the cross when you believe, when you turn to him and you repent and turn to him and say, Lord, you're the king. You're my saviour. And that's what communion is all about. Is saying, I recognise that Jesus Christ is the Lord of lords, the king of kings. And I can only come to him you know, and believe in him to be saved. Amen. So, and then I wanted to go to, into, um, into uh, 1 Corinthians 11.24. 1 Corinthians 11.24. Eleven twenty-four. Said so not used to be. I usually have a King James Bible. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, eleven twenty-four. 
1.1, and it says, um, it's like small print. <laughs> Uh, 1, 1 Corinthians 11.24, and I'm trying to figure out where, and it says here, and, and gave thanks to God for it, then he broke it into pieces and said, this is my body, which is given to you, do this in remembrance of me, and in the same way he took the cup of wine, and after the supper saying, this is the cup, is the new covenant between God and his people, mm -hmm. an agreement confirmed with his blood. Yeah. Do this in remembrance that as often as you drink it. Amen. Amen. So we uh, do this in remembrance yeah. of what the Lord has done. Yeah. Amen. A new covenant. So the old's gone away and the new's come. Amen. Praise him. Amen. Praise him. And so as we take the emblems, let's uh, thank Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ for that beautiful gift of eternal life in our lives. Of being born again, amen, in our lives. Amen. So thank you, Lord, for, for the cross, that he's washed our sin away, and his, his blood is a covering, a covenant. I think it talks in 1 John, talks about this, how God covers our sin, covers us at the cross when we believe, and we accept Jesus. He covers our sin. He remembers our sin no more. From the, what is it, the east to the west? Amen. Amen. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for your gift of life Amen. in our lives. And if you don't know Jesus today, you can ask Cam, yeah, yeah, or one of the believers here, to lead you in a prayer, yeah, to believe in Him and to get salvation, to understand it. Amen. Amen. How does this relate to that? It relates to the new covenant where he shed his blood. And we take this remembrance, like in 1 Corinthians 11, 24, it says, do this in remembrance of me. So we're remembering the, the beautiful gift that he gives us of his love and his grace and his mercy towards us and, and taking our sin away and giving us that gift of eternal life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus.